What's up my dudes, Tommy Bennett here, and in today's video, I'm gonna teach you five awesome flat ground tricks. Let's go. So the very first trick that we're gonna do is just a simple ollie into a shifty. Now we're gonna get into some techie, more crazy tricks here in a little bit, but I just wanted to set the tone, kind of start off a little mellow. And you could also use this as a nice warm up. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna do an ollie. So essentially you want to retract your lead knee, shift your weight back. You're gonna build a lot of pressure on the tail of your snowboard. So your snowboard is actually decambering. It's flexing super hard. And then you're gonna release all of that energy and you're gonna explode off of your back foot. And you're gonna go boom. Now, once you're in the air, instead of just doing an ollie, keep your spine upright, your lead shoulder pointed straight down the hill. And then you're going to rotate your hips down the hill. So that, and then you're also going to scissor your feet so that your board gets to 90 degrees and then you got to pull it back. Now, obviously the bigger you ollie, the more time you have to do this trick. I'm ollieing prime medium. So I got to be able to ollie shifty really fast and bring it back. Why this trick is awesome is it starts to get you to understand upper and lower body separation. My upper body is pointed one direction. My board goes in a different direction. You'll use this same tactic to land on a box in a board slide. You'll do this for a front lip. There's so many different variations that you could do even tweaking out grabs matching adding adding a stale fish on this so all of a sudden we have a lot of different options down the road by a simple shifty so lock these bad boys in and then tag me on instagram if you're going to do any of these tricks i want to see how you're doing all right next next trick the next trick we're going to get into is called a heart garbage it's a little bit more techie so if you need to pull out a pen and a pad take notes pull out your iphone do what you need to do uh because this one's a good one So like I said, that is called the hot garbage. Essentially what you're doing is you're gonna nollie, which means you're gonna do the opposite of an ollie. You're gonna go popping off your nose. Now what's cool about this trick is because you're gnawing, it allows your tail and your hips to rotate in opposite direction and it gives you time. Doing this from an ollie position is really hard. So when you actually wanna do the hot garbage, what you're gonna do is you're gonna shift your weight over your lead foot building pressure while slightly retracting your back knee. You're gonna decamber the snowboard and then you're gonna nollie. Now, once you've released that pressure of the nollie, you're going to rotate your hips and specifically retract your lead knee from your, where its current position is towards your back shoulder, but going up the hill so that you are causing your board to go rotate in a backside shifty, but you're also keeping your nose higher, significantly higher than your tail. Now, as you're, retracting your lead knee across your body. You're keeping your back leg pretty extended so that you can get your tail to contact the ground. And then once you make contact with your tail, you're gonna allow your board to hit the ground and swing it back. Now it does make this cool little whoo sound. It's pretty fun, but you're gonna have to make sure that your weight is over your toes so that you don't catch that heel side edge. But start small, do a little baby one, and then get bigger and bigger and more aggressive and more aggressive as you feel comfortable. Now that we're feeling pretty warmed up, we've been jumping around, we've been dipping, we've been diving. We're gonna do this thing called the reverse carve. Essentially, you're gonna go down the fall line, you're gonna turn, you're gonna go backwards and turn again, and then it's gonna look sick. So let me show you guys and then we'll you know, get a little nerdy about it. All 
All right, guys, so that is the reverse carve. It is super fun, a little technical, but let me explain it the best way I can. So what we're gonna do is you're going to do a nice little toe side turn and you're gonna start skating your toe side turn. Now, when you're ready, you're going to kick your back foot out and extend it down the hill, making your board go backwards down the hill. Now, the whole thing is you wanna keep your body facing uphill. You can even take your back hand. Uh, for me, I'm regular, so it's my right hand is placing it on the ground and then I'm locking that edge in backwards, essentially reverse carving. I don't know what's behind me. Obviously, when you're doing this trick, you know, watch out for people. Now, to set that edge, what you want to do is press both of your knees over your toes at the same time so that you're balanced on that edge and you are slicing the snow backwards. Now, hold this as long as you can. Hold it as long as you want. Now, when it's time to exit the trick, what I like to do is shift my weight over the switch lead foot and then I lift up my lead knee and I pivot the board on the tail. So I actually do a little, my back edge of my tail actually engages and I pivot off of that, forcing my board to rapidly spin around and point my regular direction down the hill. And then I lock that edge again in right away. And the next thing we're gonna do is a white room. So essentially we're trying to cover our whole selves in snow, but before we do that, make sure you're in a zone that uh, your conditions are a little bit more predictable so it's not just ice everywhere you're slipping out. Also watch out for people and then watch out for objects down below. I've done this trick like in, a, in, a, in the trees. I literally had no idea where I was in the trees and I almost hit a tree, luckily I didn't. So try to find an open run and then this is how you do it. If you think about it, it's a modified or an exaggerated heel side slip. So essentially what you're gonna do is your nose is pointed down the fall line. You're gonna turn your board sideways and then you're gonna take your back hand and you're gonna place it on the ground. Now, you can do that at a moderate tilt so you don't get a lot of spray just to get used to it and kind of vibe it, kind of feel it. You can do it on the open run before you take it to like a side bank or anything like that. But then when you wanna start taking it up a level and getting it to like spray snow and look freaking dramatic, what you wanna do is as you're in that position, lift your toes up to the top of your boots rapidly. What that's gonna do is it's gonna cause a high tilt and a lot of rapid friction. And all this snow is gonna start flinging around. Now, depending if it's icy, if it's snowy, soft snow powder, depending on the conditions, the, the snow flying is gonna react differently, of course, but uh, yep, definitely lift up those toes. And then to exit that, you're essentially gonna pull your feet back underneath your center of mass, point your board down the fall line, and then stand up, and then try to find a place to do it again. Woo! Now let's say that you're freaking awesome and you're feeling good about the heel side one. Let's try toes just to switch it up. And this one's more trying to create a white room. So I may not do this necessarily on a bank and I'm not putting my hand down, but what I can do is point my board straight down the fall line. I'm gonna rotate my board 90 degrees so that I'm on my toe side hip toe side edge and I'm essentially kind of going backwards down the hill. And then when I'm ready, I'm going to rapidly press my knees down towards the edge of the snowboard or towards the ground, it's gonna create tilt. But in addition to that, I'm extending out my legs so that instead of just having a rapid edge angle, I'm now applying additional pressure towards the ground, lifting up the board and pressing into it. All of a sudden that snow is gonna be spraying everywhere. And the whole goal is to be able to get in a white room and then ride through it. It's pretty sick. So the next variation we have for you is a toe pick slash 
toe chip. Now what you wanna do is point your board down the fall line and totally start slow on this one and just get the feeling for it. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to nollie, so you're gonna be pressuring the front of your board. You're gonna build up some pressure. You're gonna let that pressure go and then you're rapidly going to kick the tail end of your snowboard on your toe side edge into the snow. And I like to achieve that by slightly pulling my heel back on my back foot so I can get a tilt and then I kick at a 45 degree angle into the snow. Now, if you're trying to do this kick while your board is perfectly flat, a lot of times we'll, what will happen is you'll just glide on the snow. You'll not actually kick into the, into the ground. So definitely try that. Do it a couple times, start slow. Uh, it's gonna fling a lot of snow in the air. So if you're trying to troll a friend going down a catwalk, kind of do that a little bit, give him some snow in the face. But and once you guys have figured that out and you're feeling pretty awesome, the next thing that you can do with that is do a nollie toe pick back one out. So what I like to do is the nollie, get a very quick toe pick, but as I nollie, I'm taking my lead shoulder and I'm rotating it in the backside direction so that by the time I toe pick, I'm already set up for a back one and then all I gotta do is scissor my legs to finish the trick so it looks like nollie toe pick back one. And then if you're like really looking to step it up, we're gonna do the opposite and front side is actually way harder because on back side, you can kick the snow in and then bounce out. But on front side, you have to do it as a very distinct separate movement. So I'm gonna nollie toe pick. And then as soon as your toe picks the snow, then you gotta lift up the board to clear the snow, then do a late, late 180. So a nice little secret for you guys is take your lead shoulder as you're doing that nollie, open up, and then you're gonna kick the snow and then you're gonna bring your back leg up and then try to step it in front of you. You're kind of scissoring your legs, but it's more like snap, kick, and then bring it up, step over. And then you got a front side 180 out. So pretty sick. All right, moving on. So I'm gonna interrupt real quick. If you guys are looking for a very techy, nerdy, just crazy breakdown of some snowboard tricks, specifically on the freestyle realm, I do offer a online snowboard course where I literally hop in, break down a trick, and I draw all the little things on the screen so that you guys know exactly what's happening on each individual part. So that's gonna be linked in the description. What I do is I give you the skills that you're gonna have for the rest of your snowboard career. So how do you wind up a frontside trick? Obviously that applies to frontside 180, 3, 5, 7, 9, 10. So I teach you those fundamental skills that are gonna take you like down the road. Uh, in addition to that, I have some like mindset training, some ways to like handle pressure. There's all sorts of like cool things. I put two courses together for like the price of one. So if you guys are interested in that, go check that out. Also, if you just wanna support the channel, consider buying a sticker or merch. We do have a whole bunch that's gonna be linked down in the description as well. And then if you got any questions about this content at all, you're, you're just completely lost, or you got a question, or you just wanna vibe and hang out, I do a live stream every single Tuesday. So you can come hang out, we, I get to know you, you get to know me. Enough of that, let's get back at it. And the trick you guys have all been waiting for is gonna be this butter. Now, butters can be super awesome because you don't need a train park. You could be waiting for your friends that are trying to learn how to ride a snowboard. You can have fun and, and mess around. So. The whole goal is to be balancing on either your nose or your tail of your snowboard and rotate in either front side or back side. It's gonna be up to you for me specifically. In that video, I did a front side rotation on my tail and you want to essentially shift your weight so your belly button is stacked over your toe so I start this trick by doing a heel side turn. What that's gonna do is it allows me to create the momentum to start doing the, the butter, but then I immediately gotta shift my weight so my belly button is stacked over my like back binding or kind of just closer to the tail. And then I can retract my lead knee so that I'm doing a tail press as I'm spinning. Now as I'm spinning, the number one thing that you gotta do is not catch an edge. So every time, you are doing a rotation, you have to be leaning uphill. Now this is one of the laws of snowboarding. You gotta lean uphill while you're doing this so you don't catch an edge. Now what that means is as I'm on my heel side edge or the heel side part of the butter, I gotta be lifting up my toes and then I'm gonna rotate and then as I go to my toe side edge, I gotta lift up my heels so I don't catch the edge. If you're worried about catching the edge, well, what you can do is a flat ground spin like this. Now, it is very important that you are aware of your edge, that you're always leaning leaning uphill, especially when you start spinning really fast and doing those butters. It is a very fine motor skill being able to utilize your ankles, lifting them up or pushing them down, but start small. Now, do not get wrecked on this, like catching an edge. I, I don't know, I don't know what else to say. Please lean uphill, that's all, you know, lean uphill. Don't, don't die. Alrighty guys, so on that note, it is an absolutely beautiful day and me and my boy, Sean, 
are gonna go send some jumps, go send some rails, go do some other stuff. So again, if you're digging the content, subscribe, share it with a friend, and uh, you guys are amazing. Nothing but love, we out.